Okay, so <clears throat> this is my second attempt at a at the watercolor technique this month. Um, and I'm kind of doing a sunflower themed. And what I've done is because half of, I'm doing a three pound batch, half of our batch has to be white, which <clears throat> I, I kind of wanted brown, yellow, and orange, but can't do that. So anyways, I have divided this up into 24 ounces of white. 12 ounces of yellow, 12 ounces of orange, and then I'm gonna do white, yellow, orange, white, orange, yellow, white for the ombre. So lots of back and forth. I do not wanna start with pure white. So I'm adding some yellow in here to start. And I will never have a pure white. I'm always gonna have either a little bit of orange or a little bit of yellow. Um, so, yeah, so I'm pouring in that yellow, that you said yellow to start. So basically I'm just gonna go ahead and pour all these <laughs> seven different color um, combos to create an ombre. So I'm just gonna speed this up and sit back and enjoy. Okay, now that I've made a big mess <sighs> that I have mostly cleaned up along the way, I am going to let this set up <sighs> um, enough to scoop and it still be kind of fluid but solid. Um, I don't want it too solid because um, I don't want to make it hard to get into the mold, but I also want it solid enough that it will maintain the ombre as I scoop through it. 
Um, so I'll test when I can pull a dowel through and the soap doesn't fall back down on itself. Um, I will be ready to scoop that out. So I will come back in a little bit and when this is ready and we'll do part two and then you can stay tuned to tomorrow for part three and four the cutting and then adding the embellishments so there you have it okay so you can see that as i pull some of this is leaving um not falling back in and some of it is so it's like almost there um I'm tempted to just scoop some anyways and see and then if it's not ready I can stop and wait um there's again different things you can use I'm just using a spoon to kind of get like a whole section of different sections um of this and then plop I think this is part of it's a little firmer than the rest which is to be expected um, oh, look at that inside it kills me to scoop up a perfectly good ombre but at the same time it's kind of cool looking at it inside dissected so okay I'm gonna go ahead and scoop the rest of this and do some pounding to get it all to work down so hopefully we don't have any air gaps and then tomorrow I can cut it. We have it um, I think that some parts were a little more set up than others but I'm actually okay with that I think it allows some of the um, more fluid parts to kind of infill anything and yeah I think it will be okay this was similar to my first batch with the consistency and that one was pretty good so Okay, so now I'm just gonna go put it to bed and we'll come back tomorrow and cut it. Here is a couple little air gaps, but it doesn't look too bad. The soap unmolded. So I have my splitter set up because I have to slice these horizontally and then I'll slice them in bars. So I'm slicing them one inch thick. So I'm gonna go ahead, slice the bars, and then I will cut them horizontally and then add the embellishments. Interesting. I'm not sure if scooping it different would have made a difference. Like you can 
see the ombres going out more less so but there's clear distinction between kind of each scoop and plop and stuff so I don't know if I should have done smaller scoops to break it up more potentially I mean this is cool I'm just not sold that it really creates a whole watercolor effect um, I don't dislike it don't get me wrong I think it's it's cool I just don't know if it's what I consider watercolor. Now that one I like the best. This was the top where I was scraping out the last bits and scooping it on. And I think that created the best effect. So I guess my advice would be smaller scoops um, and a bit more mixed up. Like don't worry so much about keeping large chunks of it coming out and together. Like it's okay if it breaks up and gets muddied because I definitely think this bar is the best when it kind of has that watercolor marbleish effect. Okay, so now I need to cut the bars horizontally. I'm just going to measure them out first and then I will come back and cut. Okay, I've made little notches just on the side where I know, so I know where to cut. Now I'm just going to cut these into bars. my advice would be smaller scoops um, and don't be afraid to mix it somewhat I think that created the best effect I think. also I did not wait for my soap to get, I think, as thick as other people. For me, when it basically mostly held a dowel being dragged through, I scooped. Um, and I think that helped because it was not, it was a little bit more fluid, not really fluid, but softer those edge parts when I was scooping this last in which I think helped mix it mix it and give it that look it's cool kills me to scoop up an ombre <laughs> and make a gorgeous ombre and then I have to go scoop it up um, and this is a lot of work for a few bars so don't think it's something I would do again unless I specifically had a reason um, like I specifically needed this kind of design for something because it's just one I have some wasted soap now I will probably chop that up and and use it in some way shape or form um, this also takes a lot more time than just putting it on my log cutter and slicing through. And for me, just a little air gap there. Volume is important. Like, I need to be able to make a significant number of soaps, generally. That being said, I do a lot of... <laughs> designs that only can create like I can only create small batches and so there's not a ton of them too um, I guess I have to really enjoy or like the technique to be willing to do that um, 
but a lot of times I, I just I need stuff I can produce. I actually really like that you just you see this whole gradient like somehow it just managed to keep and just spread out like I really think that one's cool and I mismeasured because this bar is short <laughs> compared to all others it's a little bit shorter oh well it's not the end of the world okay I will be back with the embellishments in just a moment. Okay, <clears throat> I am making the last of my sunflowers um, to go on the face of the bars. So I am simply, I mix some yellow and orange soap dough so it kind of has a dual tone color and will hopefully kind of go with the bars. Then I made leaves and now I am finishing up the last of the sunflowers and then it will be time to decorate the bars. I actually did decorate one. I was playing around because um, I wanted to see how it would look and I was also trying just my straight yellow and not um, the blend I just created. So you can see there's the yellow. I actually like the yellow with it, but I decided I would just go with the blend. Um, and this was a really big one piece, which I decided to cover too much of the bar. So I think I'm just going with the smaller ones. So, okay. I am tired of making some flowers. <laughs> I'm just like I have a few more a little bit more dough I could make more but I think I have plenty and so I'm just done so I'm just gonna take some distilled water and paint on the back of the the embed pieces and attach them um, how I'm going to do it I think I'm just gonna play around with each different bar and what the pattern is and and put them on and see what um, what works best and doesn't cover the best part of that kind of watercolor pattern and since every bar is different um, I think each placement for the sunflowers will be different so anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up and you can watch as I decorate my bars.